Roger Skadoosh, Skadoosh. Welcome back, my ninjas. Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. We're gonna bust open three more collector booster packs. Thanks to B Lundy. He also sent me whatever's inside of here for you. Well, thank you very much. I do appreciate you sending that out. Also, from last week, maybe a week and a half ago, I asked a few questions in videos. People answered them. And we're going to go over who is going to take home something nasty. Uh, the Planeswalker Mythic Edition with the Ravnica Allegiance Pack. That is up for grabs up in here. And also the Judas Scourge Diva and Gisass Sun's Avatar. I already have the people chosen. We're going to go over that in one sec. Let's get into cracking these Ravnica Allegiance Collector Booster Packs. As you guys know, these are pretty hard to come by. They're very limited, and they're not sending them all over the place. You can find them at your local Meyer store of all places if you have one by you. The closest one to me is a good 50-mile drive. I even called around. None of them had any, so thank you very much, Lundy. I do appreciate you getting this out to me, man. Let's crack open this collector booster pack. I hope they're not as crappy as the ones before. Um, we only had, I think, one good pack out of all those, and that was kind of disappointing. Uh, let's see if this one steps it up. As you guys know, inside of here, you get three rares or mythics, two premium foils, and ten, count them, ten uncommons. The big question is, are they all repeats? I heard a few people in the comments saying that they opened up quite a few, and they were getting repeats of like basically what I opened. So this will be a very interesting opening to say the least. Collision Colossus. Lumbering Battlements. Now that's a cool card. Made an infinite combo deck on that. Might want to go back a couple videos. Pretty nasty sauce. Uh, it's got the Vigilance when Lumbering Battlement enters the battlefield. Exile any number of uh, other non-token creatures you control until it leaves the battlefield. Lumbering Battlement gets plus deuce, plus deuce for each card exile with it. Basically you get three of these suckers out. And then they just have a freaking real fun time with each other. Plaza of Harmony. Why'd that look like it was damaged or something? I guess it, it's not though. It's just the top of it. I just look, maybe it's the lighting. It's all about the lights, guys. Uh, Plaza of Harmony enters the battlefield. If you control two or more gates, you gain three life. Yeah, the colorless had one man of any type that a gate you control could produce. Gate decks are taken off. You will see one on this channel very soon. I'll put together a quite unique one. Of course, we got to fall in line with some of the other decks that are already out there that are top eighting, but it will have a nice little twist to it, of course. Plaza Harmony, cool card. Verity Circle Bulk. All right, so basically, what, what's Lumbering Battlement? That's probably the prize in here. Uh, Plaza of Harmony might be a buck or two. Uh, Ver Verity Circle. Verity Circle. Oh, Sphinx of New Prov is our foil card. And a Frilled Mystic. That's nice. Not bad at all, Andy. You did good, my friend. You did good there, sir. And a Frog Lizard token. Why would they give you a token in the back? I'm just curious. That doesn't make any god given sense whatsoever why they'd give you a frog lizard token what is going on with these two uh it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever if they're gonna do a premium thing why give you a frog token i just don't understand some things i don't get uh the person who's taken home these nasties gasaf and sons avatar judith's a scourge diva two really cool cards gasaf's one of my favorite judith is gearing up to be the person who got these is none other. Oh, I asked the question. What's, what's your favorite guild? That's it. Let me know your favorite guild. The person responded, I love Is It Guild because of how complex and balanced it is. And I noticed this person has commented quite a few times in many videos, and I think it's a long overdue. I think over a year he's been commenting. Bam! Dalton Hartle. Congratulations, my ninja. I need you to email me. Bam! At mossbergswerve at gmail.com. It's more like Mosbergswerve, but it's Mossbergswerve. Make sure you send me uh, your name, your full name, address. Uh, make sure you get all the spelling right and everything like that. If you are a kid, make sure it's okay with your parents, etc., etc. Okay, so congratulations, my dude. I will get those out to you once I hear from you within 24 hours. So our first pack was kind of... <clears throat> what else we got up in here? What else do we got up in here? We have, for me, what is for me? I want to see what is for me. That is the most exciting part of my video. Let's get to a crack in this open. 
Oh, be careful, Mr. Boss. You don't want to cut stuff. All right. Everyone keeps saying sharpen my blades. I really need to, honestly. Ooh, Phyrexian Rager. That just gave me a Rager. That is nice. Oh, we got to open up, open, open them. Phyrexian Rager. What we got here? Phyrexian Rager. Enters the battlefield. You draw a card and you lose one life. Blade Juggler. <clears throat> That's sweet. That's freshly pulled, my friend. Love the blades on this sucker. You guys know I love my blades. I, I, I got a few of them laying around here. I can't seem to find one right now. And I think I lost my other knife. It's kind of weird. Bethnic Infiltrator. I was never too thrilled about the artwork on this set, but the blues and greens on this one really pop out. I do like that. That looks pretty slick. Ghostly Sentinel. That's cool. That looks really cool. Get a load of that. It's like this little Mirage Aura Phantom-like stuff going on in the sky. Do you guys believe in ghosts? Do you believe in... Where I'm recording right now is haunted. So I'll get out. You wouldn't even believe it. I'll tell stories in another video. Actually, I have told stories already. Um, but man, they are freaking nuts off the wall. Uh, I got a cancel. We got a cancel. Look at that fist. He is fisting that power orb or whatever that is. And a Frost Birth. These all look really nice. I think you just picked out really good foils, my dude. Job well done. Frost Breath looks sweet. Did I say Birth? Frost Birth giggity. And a Jace's Erishar. 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 Whenever you draw a card, you may have target player put the top card of his or her library in his or her graveyard. Pretty sweet card right there. Nice enchantment. All gorgeous foils to look at. Are you trying to make me build a Demir, uh, a, a Demir deck? Is that, is that what we're trying to do here, my friend? Bathe in Dragonfire. Look at the flames on that sucker. Gorgeous, baby. Bathe in Dragonfire deals four damage to target creature. Nasty sauce right there. Fire Urkin. Fire, I want to say Urkel. Fire Urkin. That's a nice little blades of flame. It reminds me of that one guy. What's his name? Uh, I can't think of it. Uh, Spitfire, maybe? There you go. That's it. Spitfire. Command a Storm, gorgeous. That was one I think I, I, I mentioned I wanted to get just because the foil would look stupid with all that plasma and light running through it. I may have even pulled one already. But man, that looks damn near gorgeous. God, I appreciate the foils, my friend. And VS, you know, Pyromancer. Right now, it's almost like a staple. Not even a staple. It's not a staple. Knock it off. It's like a lava coil or something in standard right now. But VS, you know, Pyromancer is pretty nasty also. It's got the flames going all around them. Awesome little Viashino wizard lizard there. You can't even call him a lizard, but he basically is. Well, I don't know, whatever. All right, appreciate that. Thank you very much for sending that out, man. And let's get into the second one. Is this one going to be absolute junk? I don't know. I just don't know. We're going to find out. All the Myers were sold out. I called around, all freaking sold out. Like crazy. Craziness, I know. Gateway Sneak, Zertok Goblin, Arkway... Angel, which is making its way into a lot of those decks, uh, the gate builds. Mortify. Screaming Shield. Essence Capture with the Combine Guild Mage. So what do you think of these packs, guys? Oh, and should this card be banned? Should Wilderness Reclamation be banned? This sucker stacks. I mean, that's like the ultimate broken... Uh, Ness in a card, if you ask me. Not that it, it stacks, but this kind of ability? Stupid amazing. Cry of the Carnarium. Gates ablaze. Man, we are really cooking up a gate deck up in here. Emergency Powers Mythic. Didn't we pull an Emergency Powers Mythic before in one of these, if I'm not mistaken? I think we did. I think we did pull one before. Can't be positive. I think, therefore, we are. Yeah? Sure. I think. Biomancer's Familiar. Solid. Nothing crazy, though. And I... Oh! Skidoo! My bell almost broke. Hallowed Fountain, not bad at all. Um, so we did pull an actual dual land. That's that's worthy. Good old Shaka. There you go. Hallowed Fountain. Burn Bright. Get a load of that anger. Get a load of the anger in those eyes. How would you like to wake up and... That's in your face! I would be like, no thanks. Axe Bane Beast. So I don't think we've seen a rare or mythic foil yet in any of these. Pretty interesting. Uh, that other person. This is the big one, man. This is the big one. Someone's taking home a Planeswalker Mythic Edition all up inside of here. And that person said, I asked a question. I said, what do you think of Mythic Edition Ravnica Allegiance? And they said, I like the idea of this product to provide a higher quality card that you can have 
like a trophy. Basically, more words or less, that's what it is. Some crazy people are out there with a lot of money to blow, and they're going to be playing with these cards unsleeved. I, I don't understand, but congratulations to Nicholas Ellis. You are taking home whatever's up inside of these two. Let's get to crack, and we'll start with this Ravnica Allegiance booster pack. Ravnica Allegiance booster. I'm in a more laid-back mood today. Persistent Petitioners. No one's trying to build a deck with that. Not a single person. Mm -mm. Nobody. Nobody. No how. Shark to Crab. Good luck to you, my friend. Azoria Skyguard. Regenesis. And Pre Cognitive Perception. With an Azorius Guild Gate. Nothing too fancy schmancy in there. But what are you going to get in here? I don't know if anyone remembers what it was. But it's not a bad planeswalker. Not at all. I remember some some little punk troll on uh, one of these Facebook groups or whatever. Because um, I shared this video myself. And this one little, uh, this one troll, he's like, yeah, you forgot to mention uh, you gave away the cheapest one. Because oh, it's rigged. I'm like, dude, I, uh, people need to get a clue. Uh, Skewer the Critics. Nice, nice, nice. Blade Brand. Blade Brand. Gyre Engineer. Code of Constraint. No one cares. Incubation. Amplifier. That'd be cool in, uh, in foil as well. Got the good old Amplifier with Dak Faden in all of his glory. That is a nasty card. Congratulations, Nicholas Ellis. I also need you to email me at the same address that I pulled up here a minute ago. I don't know where it is. Uh, here she blows. Mossbergswerve at gmail.com. Make sure you get that out to me. Dak Faden, my friend. The Azorius Guildgate. The emblem in the back. We are going to sleeve this puppy up for you. Indeed. Indeed we do. Ooh, get up in there, gorgeous. And this is going to go up in here as well. Congrats, my dude. And I'm also going to send you... This precognitive, uh, whatever it is, and everyone wants these stupid uh, persistent petitioners because no one's making decks with them. They're not stupid. I can see a fun little deck with them. And I th this might be worth something. If that's worth something also, that is going with it. The amplifier is going with it. And everything else stays out. It saves money on shipping. There you have it. All right, congrats, my dude. Last pack to crack, baby. I don't know how. This is a 12-minute video. I do apologize. <laughs> Let's just open this last one up. Screaming Shield. Uh, Gruel Beast Master, Rakdos, Dagger, the Zor. Every single pack, it seems we have that. Gates of Blaze, Diamond's Acuity, okay. Sphinx of the Guild Pact, Cry of the Karenia. Wow, wow. It looks like duplicates. Lavinia, Tome of the Guild Pact, Hallowed Fountain. Wow, okay, it's different. With a Soraform Hybrid and Rubble Reading. It looks like they're not really putting anything crazy. They're putting common foils up in these. So common and maybe an uncommon every now and then. That's the second Hallowed Fountain. This is, I think, the second or third Lavinia and second Tome of Guild Pack we have pulled out of these. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting indeed. I hope I didn't confuse these packs. No, this goes over here. All of this goes with it. Let me know what your guys' thoughts on this product are. What are they? I like it. I want some more of it, baby. As always, we'll see you later.